Welcome to the Geeks Attic. This is an expanded universe book review of Star Wars Dark Apprentice. Star Wars Dark Apprentice, book two in the Jedi Academy trilogy, written by best-selling author Kevin J. Anderson. This expanded universe tale takes place during the New Republic era, 11 years after the Battle of Yavin. Now, before we get into my overall thoughts, let's go over a brief summary, and let me know down in the comments below, have you read this book? Have you read this trilogy? And what are your thoughts? I want to know. The resurrected Jedi Order has been active on Yavin 4 for a few months now. Luke Skywalker is burdened with the task of rebuilding the Order, training Force sensitives to have control of the power within them. The location of the Jedi Temple is on ancient Masasi grounds. A haunting presence works to destroy all that Luke is attempting to build. Disaster shakes up the New Republic leadership when Akbar crashes the ship on a diplomatic mission which kills thousands. Akbar then leaves his role in the New Republic, seeking seclusion on his home world. Leia takes on more responsibility as Mon Mothma slowly takes a step out of the limelight, yet she wastes no time in attempting to bring Akbar back into the action. Admiral Dalla and her Imperial fleet go back to the drawing board on war tactics. Things have been changing rapidly and drastically for this fleet. After learning what's happened throughout the galaxy during their interrogation with Han Solo and further research, they find that the remnants of the Empire are preoccupied with fighting each other instead of the Rebellion. It appears that history is beginning to repeat itself. The big question is, will the New Republic or the Jedi Order survive? Now before we get into my overall thoughts, hit that thumbs up, let me know that you like this video, or the thumbs down if you dislike the video. Just like with Jedi Search, there are so many cool moments in this book, things that I wish we could have seen on the big screen. Kevin J. Anderson went dark in a lot of places with this book, and I absolutely loved it. The story is exciting, taking us to new places with the characters, putting them in uncomfortable positions, and throwing real challenges at them. While I'm not too impressed with the characterization of Luke, not just because he's, you know, overwhelmed, struggling with how to do the tasks set before him, building up the new Jedi Order and all that, but just the way that he handles people and events all the time. Like, it really gives me those vibes of the way that he speaks to Jabba. Like, real cut, dry, like, weird. It doesn't feel like Luke from episode 4 or 5. I guess what I'm trying to say is I don't like his demeanor. I don't like the way that he holds himself and just portrays himself to other people. But the other characters, all the original ones to this story, were handled very well. So this next complaint is really petty and annoying, but it's just one of those things that bothers me a lot. It happens in a lot of Star Wars, not just this story. I don't like it when phrases that Yoda said are repeated by others as Yoda said it. Like, size matters not. No one else talks like that. That's not going to be the lesson that you teach everybody, right? Uh, they, why not just say, like, hey, size doesn't matter. One of Luke's students, Kip Durin, almost appears to be kind of like a new chosen one. Once he makes it to the Yavin Jedi training area, what Luke calls the Praxium, he shuts himself off from socializing and focuses on his abilities and studies. Now, the spirit of Exar Kun, an ancient Sith Lord, roams the Masasi grounds, seeking whom he may manipulate. Some of the new Jedi trainees are tempted by Exar Kun, with knowledge that would far exceed what Luke Skywalker could ever teach. Do I recommend that you pick up and read this book? Yes. So for the rating, I will give Star Wars Jedi Academy Dark Apprentice a B+. And that's going to do it for this book review. Remember, leave your comments down below, hit that thumbs up, subscribe, and check me out across all social media at The Geeks Attic. Have a good one.